Hi, my name is Drew Heck. I'm a quartermaster from Troop 200, and today we're going to show you how to set up a green Troop 200 tent. So first, we find an area like this. It's kind of, it's relatively flat. It'd be a good area to sleep on, and we're going to get started. So first, we take our tent, take it out of the bag, unroll it. First things you'll find, poles, stakes, set them off to the side for now. Next thing would most likely be a tarp. Next we will find the tent on top of the rain fly. We'll take the tent off to the side so we can get the rain fly out. Take the rain fly, this is the last thing we'll need. Put the rain fly over there, grab our tent which is currently folded in thirds. Unfold the tent. What we should be looking for here is two of these. They're either gonna be tan or gray like this tent. These are called dog bones. These are what all the poles go into. Next, what we should look for is on each corner, there should be a ring with a little key hook on it. There should be one of those for each end of the pole. Next, we're going to grab our pole bag. We're going to open up our pole bag, take our pole bag, put it with our tent bag so we don't lose them. Next, we're going to go through our poles and make sure we have all of our poles. There should be one double-ended pole. This is called the backbone. This will go in the center between all the poles. Next, we should find a three-part pole. One end should be uh, notched in and the other should be normal. That's a leg. What we need is four legs. There's another leg. There's another leg. And there's another leg. You should be left with one pole. This pole is called the beak. This is the last pole that we put on so we can set this off to the side. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to start unfolding poles. You're going to take this pole, unfold it. Don't step on the tent because you can get dirt on them and uh, ruin the tent. Then we're going to put that onto the dog bone through the center hole. Set that down for a couple seconds. Get our next poles, leg, leg, leg and the last leg then what we're going to do is we're going to go to the dog bone we want to put the wider side in and we're going to do that with all four poles we're going to put them all in to the dog bones making sure that these dog bones are turned the right way try not to rip the tent take our third pole put it into the dog bone Grab our fourth pole. This is a lot easier with two people, but you can do it with just one person. It just takes a little bit more time. Next, we're gonna to go to one of the corners of our tents. I'm starting at the back corner. Take the key ring, put it into the pole, and then just work your way around the tent doing that. As you put it up, you should see that the tent becomes gradually more stable. Then once you get to the last one, this is going to be the hardest of all of them to put in because you have to stretch the tent out and push the pole in. So now we have the tent like this. The next thing that we want to do is on each of these, there's going to be a little clip and we're going to put them onto the poles. Alrighty, so now that we have all of the clips on, here we're going to find thicker rubber, a thicker elastic, and then just a regular cord. We want to take the thicker elastic and we want to put it around the back of the leg poles and over top of the dog bone. So that way it creates this little interesting shape. We want to do that both front and back. 
there and there so now the tent is nice and tight if you wanted to you could sleep in the tent like this i don't recommend it because if it rains you're going to get wet next we're going to take our bags open up our tent and stick them in the corner if you lose your bags you have to go find some new ones and nobody likes buying extra bags next what we're going to do is we're going to take our tarp we're going to unfold it making sure that we get it as far and as wide as we can you might have to move your tent if you set your tent up in the area that you want to put it you can pick your tent up and move it by the ridge pole put our tarp in a place that we want it making sure there's no sharp sticks or pointy objects below it take our tent set it relatively in the center then we're going to go around to the front and sides and we're going to tuck it under rolling it back underneath the tarp so that way if it does rain we don't get water inside of our tents because it's running down our ground cloth we want to make sure that it's just slightly underneath the tent so that way if it does rain we're not getting tons and tons of water in our tent but we're also protected from water running underneath our tent you don't want to roll it halfway underneath the tent because then you won't get any protection next we're going to come over here to our rain fly i'm going to grab our beak pole i'm going to take it to the front of the tent slide it onto the end of this of the backbone then we're going to grab our rain fly unfold it make sure we have it the right way pull it over top of the tent so that way this hook here in the front is right on top of this go to the back pull it over making sure that this ring is centered over top of the dog bone you might have to readjust a little bit next we're going to take these loops and clip them onto the same loops that had the pin for the poles there is four of these one on every corner you might notice that some of the elastic is a little bit stretched out that's just because it's been used so often the last thing that we need to do before we can start staking out the rain fly is take this little pin put it in there make sure that the rain fly is nice and tight and now we're ready to start staking next we're gonna grab our stakes in our stake bag we're gonna take our stake bag we're gonna put it inside the corner of the tent with the rest of our bags next we're gonna go around we're gonna take this stake these are plastic stakes so we're gonna take this plastic stake we're gonna put it through this ring put it in the ground if the ground is hard you can use a metal uh, or a mallet to put it in next one into the ground the ground here is relatively soft so we don't need it metal stake into the grommet that ring there pull our tarp out make sure that it's nice and flat take a metal stake put it in here put it into the ground as well trying to keep it nice and tight so that way we have as much space to put our gear as possible put another stake in into the 
ground. Take more of our stakes, grommet, loop, next loop. Push it into the ground the rest of the way. Then we should have two stakes left. One here, and one for this one over here. Now you can add two more stakes to this, and you can put them into the uh, rest of the little fittings back there. Here we have a clip. Back here on the tent, there is a ring. We're gonna take the ring and we're going to clip it and that expands the space of the tent substantially on the sides. Next, what we're gonna go around and do is make sure that the tarp is still nice and neat underneath the tent. So we're still not getting water. We're gonna to wanna to go to our back area since we've just staked this out, roll the tarp down. Make sure that it's inside that area so that way we're not getting a bunch of water in our tent again. So now we're gonna go over some of the basics of the tent. So first, this tent has two zippers, one for the upper flap, one for the lower flap. So inside the tent you can see is very, very spacious. There are pockets on either corner. There is plenty of space for you to put your gear. And if you have extra gear, you can go to the back of the tent, unzip that door, which also has two zippers. You can put your gear out there. It will be nice and dry on top of the tarp. Now we will close this tent up and we'll get to some of the maintenance and repair stuff for this tent. These zippers may be a little bit tough, so it might help to put a little bit of zipper grease on them just to help them move a little bit easier. You may need to replace the elastic once in a while for the straps because they may become frayed or like this once in a while. You may have to, if a one of these uh, fabric loops gets ripped or broken, you may lose this and have to go out and purchase more. These can always be sewn back together Stakes may get bent. All that requires is somebody to take a hammer and pound them back into their straight shape. So now we're gonna do the takedown of the tent. The tank down, takedown is the exact opposite of the tent. The only difference is if it is a windy day, you can leave the stakes in these rings until you're ready to take the tent down. That will help you from keep, to keep track of all the parts and less worry about your tent flying away. So we're gonna take it down real quick and we'll be right back. Alrighty, next what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold this in thirds, we're gonna fold this in thirds. This is really quite easy. Third. Third, trying to make sure we keep any leaves or dirt out of the tent. We can now fold this in thirds. So the first thing that you do for this is you grab the two grommets, pull it off your tent, lay it out. Then you fold in the extras on either end, fold it in half or fold it in thirds, then fold it in thirds again. Now take this, put it on top of the tent, drag the tent off to the side. Now we have to fold this tarp. This tarp is gonna get folded just like you would fold any other tarp. Fold it in halves. This tarp is gonna be a little bit thicker than normal.
Gonna fold it in half lengthwise. Fold it in half width. And then take it and put it on top of our tent. Drag it over. Poles are in the pole bag. Take the poles down to one end, line up tent and tarp, put poles right there. Grab our stakes. Stakes usually go about midway through the tent. And then we start rolling. You wanna get this tent as tight as you can. If you don't get it super tight, you're gonna wind up with uh, it not fitting in the bag. Roll it up, making sure that all these straps and cables are on the inside. Keeping leaves and other junk out of the tent. Then we are going to take it, grab our bag, open our bag up, put it around the bottom of the tent, starting at the back where we rolled it, and it slips straight into the bag. This tent weighs about seven and a half pounds, and that's how you set it up.